Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on installing Metasploitable 2. So today we're going to um, first walk you through how to um, download VirtualBox, um, which is a free virtual machine platform. Then we'll walk you through how to download Metasploitable 2, the files that you'll need. And then lastly, we'll go through and install Metasploitable 2 on VirtualBox. So the first thing we need to do is um, have you install VirtualBox. I already have it installed here on my machine, uh, but the best way that I found to download it is just to come here into Google and search for VirtualBox. Come to their downloads page, and once you're here, um, they have different platform packages. So choose the one that is best that um, corresponds to your operating system. Most likely it'll be Windows or um, OS Mac or Linux. Um, I'm using Windows just because my Windows machine has um, a lot more power than my Mac. So um, go ahead and download those files um, and then follow the installation prompts for your operating system. Um, so pause the video here and then resume once you have it all installed. Okay, great, welcome back. So now you should have VirtualBox installed and it sh when you open it up it should look like this. Um, except this left hand side should be blank. I've got a few operating systems already or virtual machines already installed and running um, but you shouldn't have anything at this point. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is download Metasploitable 2. So again we'll come here to Google and we'll just search for Metasploitable 2 um, download um, Come here to the Rapid7 link. Uh, Rapid7 is the company which develops Metasploitable. Um, they also um, have developed the Metasploit um, hacking tool. Um, so you, to download it, click one of these two links. Um, I'll go to the Rapid7 one. And then uh, you'll need to fill out this form. Um, once you've done that, um, and have filled out this form and you hit submit, it'll take you to a page that looks just like this. Um, so to download Metasploitable 2, uh, you can just click the download Metasploitable link here. Um, the files are pretty big so it may take your computer a minute, so go ahead and um, pause the video um, and once you, have, um, once you have it installed and also extracted because um, it downloads it in a zip file, um, Go ahead and pause the video and then resume it once you have all of that done. Okay, all right, welcome back. So now at this point you should have um, VirtualBox up and running and you should also have downloaded Metasploitable 2 and extracted the files. So I would take your extracted folder and move it to a folder that you're going to use um, and not going to delete. Like my downloads folder, I tend to delete regularly. So I'm going to go ahead and move it to a folder I already have, which I've labeled ISOs. So we'll just move it here. We'll come into the ISOs, um, and we'll double click into to the Metasploitable 2 folder. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to have um, several different files here, which is you should have these same files that I have. So the first thing, now, now we're going to walk through and actually set up a Metasploitable 2 virtual machine. So in VirtualBox, go ahead and in the top left, click the new button. And then I'll name um, this machine Metasploitable 2. And we're going to use a Linux 64-bit um, distribution. So once you've done that, go ahead and click Next. And you can name yours whatever you want. Um, I would probably suggest Metasploitable 2 since that's what it is. Um, this is how much memory you want to give it, RAM. Um, this Metasploitable 2 is a pretty lightweight um, operating system, so you don't really need very much RAM. You can leave it here at 1 gig. I'm just going to move mine up to 2. Um, but my computer, whoop, my computer also has um, my computer also has 48 gigs of RAM, so um, I can afford it. Um, the next thing is to choose the hard disk. Typically when we install a virtual machine, we just stick with this middle option. In this case, we're going to click and use an existing virtual hard disk file. So click that button and then come here and click this folders button. Um, 
go to the folder that you've put Metasploitable into, and then click into the Metasploitable folder, and you should have this folder called Metasploitable. It should be about um, you know, 1.8 gigs. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, once you have it installed, we'll hit Create. Um, and at that point, it should um, pop up down here in your list. So go ahead and double click Metasploitable 2 and give it a second to load up. Um, and now it is starting up. So if you're familiar or used Linux before, it's going to go through um, the same startup phase um, that pretty much other, every other Linux distro goes through. Um, so you can go ahead and um, so we'll just talk a little bit about what Metasploitable is while this is um, loading up. Metasploitable 2 is designed as an, inten as an intentionally insecure operating system. It's designed um, to help people hone their hacking skills, um, whether it's red team um, or, or hardening the machine on like a blue, um, blue team side. So um, anyways, this is now loaded up and it says to log in with MSF admin and MSF admin is also the password. So we'll go ahead and do that, and you're in. Now, something important to do, there's an important setting that we want to check. So because Metasploitable 2 is intentionally insecure, we do not want to expose it to the network. So we're going to come here, and we're going to go to Settings. Um, we're going to come down here to Network. And under Adapter 1, we're going to change this to a host, either host only or an internal network. Um, if you want Metasploitable 2 to be um, accessible by anything on your local network, choose um, internal network. If you want it to be accessible only on your host, so in this case it's my Windows machine, um, then choose that. So that's, I'm going to choose host only. Um, do not select the other options. You can do not attach, but then you can't access it. Um, if you do bridged adapter, or NAT, it's going to expose it to the internet, um, which can be potentially dangerous. So we'll do host only, um, and we'll hit OK. And it'll save those settings, um, and it'll update it automatically. So then if we come in here, put if config, um, you can see what its internet address is. So um, that's the tutorial on how to install um, Metasploitable 2 on VirtualBox. Um, we've walked through how to install VirtualBox. Um, and how to install Metasploitable 2. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment below, and I will respond to them as uh, soon as I can. Um, I usually try to respond to them um, within the same day. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I um, hope this helps you, and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.